point. So uh, what we have on our hands now, it's a Aquarius Sun, Moon and as well Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading. And if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out uh, the description down below of uh, this video. And there you're going to find a, a link to my uh, website. <clears throat> So that being set aside, let's uh, let's give a good shuffle to the tarot cards and let's see what awaits your queries for the upcoming week. <clears throat> All right. So the first card, which is going to represent the very topic of your uh, love and relationship for throughout the week, we do have the nine of wands, followed by the second one here, which uh, represents the. Um, energies which are supporting the situation itself that is going to be the tree of pentacles third card here it is what you need to overcome as a challenges throughout the week that is going to be the king of wands followed by the next one here which is the gifts and the blessings that you are going to enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the eight of pentacles uh, afterwards what we do have it is how people are going to see you uh, that will be the sun card then the sixth card, it is what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be the Ten of Swords. The seventh card of the reading represents what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. Uh, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. And then the, the next one here, or the last one, it is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Aquarius, in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the... Um, page of swords. All right, so uh, let's uh, take a look at the first two cards, which are representative, uh, representatively the uh, situation of the nine of wands and the energies which are supporting the situation, which comes as the three of pentacles. So it does look like Aquarius that this week is going to be a, a week for a uh, quite of an amplified conversations in between you and your beloved one or your person of interest. Now, this is uh, for a couple of reasons here. Uh, the first reason with those energies, it is that uh, this person becomes more uh, reassured by you and by your inten intentions. Therefore, they need to uh, kind of have that sense that you can support them through their development and vice versa as well so you can see that they are to support you as well throughout your development but above everything else here the energies are encouraging you guys to share your deepest fears if you will i mean what you are afraid of uh that is going to happen for example uh what kind of a uh, issues or or what you are suspecting that it is to unfold further into the future. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that this week, it is the week where you both are have to align and become on the second on the same page. Uh, that is because the nine of wands, especially into love and relationship, it is about the union in between the two of the, the two opposites through a carefully made conscious changes from both sides and that's why it's very important that you do talk with one another if you don't like something say it if you do like something say it if you like someone say it if you dislike someone say it that that is quite mandatory if um, if you will so at the end of the day you kind of like uh, identify your position in front of the world. So pretty much if I have to conclude here, this is a, a week uh, for you Aquarius where you have to lay down the cards and just, you know, just lay it all out. So people know how you stand and what you what you expect, what you want. But uh, with those two cards, this should lead to a, a better unfoldment. What I mean, it is, uh, is going to be for the greater um, that it is highly unlikely that you're going to feel bad after the unfoldment of the situation because, as we said, the energies are all about supporting each other as long as the conversations are honest, open, and, um, how can I say it, deeply meaningful, profound conversations. So what uh, it is the challenge that you need to stand against? Now, we do have a, a person, King of Wands, 
I can't identify exactly how that person is going to be challenging to you. So it's going to be uh, in a different kind of situation for every single one of you guys. But if I have to describe the King of Wands, these are very ambitious people. These are people who does not take no for an answer. They um, have kind of like... Um, let's say ambition or an idea in mind and for them that is the um the most important thing in the world and um, everything compared to that idea or to this drive of theirs it's uh, it's meaningless and as well it's kind of like a trifle so for one or another reason it does look like that you're gonna clash with the ambition and the idea of this person king of wounds and is going to be got them hard from your behalf to overcome their ambition and their idea and if i have to give you an example of it that could be you know a, a person who likes you who wants to be with you you don't want to be with them and there you go you have someone who does not take no for an answer they have the ambition and in their mind you don't know what you want. You are not realizing what you want. And so they think that they are doing you a favor by constantly bothering you. All right. Now, another very, how can I say it? A very um, typical property of the King of Wands is that they do enjoy uh, life in general and to entertain the, themselves. If I have to classify, that is a, a person who likes to be on, uh, under the spotlight and who likes to party a lot, to show themselves in front of people and to brag about their, um, their achievements. Uh, the next card here, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to be to, to have on your behalf to enjoy it. And uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, it kind of depends what kind of a stage you are in right now in terms of love and relationship. Now, for those who are single, this card as a gift and the blessing, it does refer to the options available once, however, one starts to go out and display themselves in front of the world as a single, okay? So uh, that itself speaks that you're not going to lack options available of dating people in case you're single. For those who are in relationship, the gifts and the blessings are the stir of one's plan, meaning that now you can start manifesting, you know, whatever you have planned with your beloved ones, either living together, uh, engaging, you know, having a child, it's etc, etc. The card here points that you have uh, basically meticulously prepared yourself for it. And now as a gift and a blessing and a blessing, you do have the green light to manifest whatever you have prepared upon. Uh, the next card, it is how people are going to see you in terms of love and relationship and we do have the sun card so people are going to see you first of all very trivial here very very happy person so you are going to be happy for one or another reason either because you know you now have people to date with either because now you do support each other through a rough time if you do or go if you are going through a rough time either because you have laid all your cards down and you are seeing a um a kind of like a, a mutual understanding from your partner all right or either because you are growing into your relationship because this is how the card is pre is presenting itself <clears throat> in front of the other people it does look like that um People as well are going to be jealous in a sense of that they will want to be at your shoes because people are going to see you growing into your love life, all right? So you can expect the queries throughout this week that um, your, uh, once again, your situation is going to, uh, in terms of love, is going to improve naturally because the sun is all about natural growth and natural improvement and uh, also people are going to see you very vitalized in a sense of that you are always going to be a, a good company to those who want your company you are always going to be a good con conversationalist you are also go you are always going to be someone that it is capable to bring a smile even into the saddest face face in the world so for that reason those who are finding you interesting those who want to be with you are going are going to seek you out more amplified 
uh, or their attempts are going to be more amplified to seek you out and seek out your company than previously. So throughout this week, whoever it's kind of like uh, texting you more often, calling you more often, you should know that they are finding you as a person of, uh, of interest. Either even if you are in a relationship, that as well could be the case. But also people are gonna see you as a person determined to make the things happen. So that being said, your partner, or your husband or your wife is going to see you as someone who is ready to sit on the table of negotiations and fix the issue that it is uh, that it is growing in between you two if there is any issue whatsoever so the other card here it is the ten of swords and this is about what is going to help your long-term relationship go so ten of swords it is a about um I, it's difficult to describe it. Just give me a second. Um, well, it is about slamming the door to the past, but I have to translate it in a better way here. Uh, it's like um, letting the tension all out, all out. Okay, so something is bothering you deep down within you, and you have kept it in a silent treatment up until this moment, and the time has came that you have to just lay it all out just like the topic itself said and uh, the energies they said that itself is going to provoke yes a little bit more uh, disruption than it has to but in the same time is going to provoke as well some pretty drastic decisions that needs to be made from your behalf from the behalf of your person of interest from the behalf of your uh, beloved one and throughout those um kind of like uh, uh, decisions or an actions taken, a new dawn is going to be provoked in your life. So in other words, guys, uh, the, uh, not the time has come, but it kind of like it is the very last drop into the cup that takes the piece of cake here and uh, things that ha have been neglected up until this moment they cannot be neglected any longer and if one wants to improve their circumstances into their relationship things that have been overlooked or have been neglected or that someone pretended that these things does not, does not exist now need to be brought into bear. They need to be talked about. They need to be attended to as well. Now, it's very difficult card to uh, to manifest. It is because it is related to uh, struggle. It is related as well to some sort of a, a pain that you may not uh, like what you find out, all right, or the whole symptoms that you are going through the situation itself, so you are aggravated by certain behavior of your person of interest or of your partner. You raise it as a question, and that kind of provokes wrangles in between you two, but this is necessary so you both can move on as together and uh, embarking a new down into a better formed relationship. Don't forget that people were seeing you as the sun, so people are understanding that you are raising those questions with an opting to solve them, not to break anything. And the other card here, it is about what uh, is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That is the Nine of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles tells us only one thing, thinking that um, your relationship is for granted, your interaction with your person of interest is for granted, and not taking the matters seriously whatever you are holding within you is not going to go on its own accord things are not going to change unless you do not raise the question above and you do not make your partner to make it as a conscious change or you don't make yourself as a consciously changing a certain noxious aspect of your behavior and the last card here it is uh, regarding the um the guidance that Tarot is offering. So we do have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords refers to clashes and confrontations, especially when we're talking about relationships. And as a guidance, this card points that everybody is individual and everybody has their own independable thoughts, thought, or yeah, wisdom, thought, whatever. But that being said, the arguments for one are not necessarily an argument for other. And in order to reach a, a common ground, you need to make your point across. How? By being more elaborative. How? By not 
trying to present fictions as facts, but be honest, be straight, and only that way, you, you know, whomever is sitting in front of you will be able to understand and see uh, your intellectual agility, if you will, and uh, kind of understand the point of view you're coming from. And the Rangos are not going to be Rangos anymore, but they're going to be, as we said at the start, those deeply meaningful and profound conversation conversations with the only idea behind them to fix the things out and to make the relationship more harmonious. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you do want a, a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a, a link to my se well, website from which you can uh, schedule a, a personal reading. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.